Hello, and thank you for joining me. If you've come to find out about high demand, high wage careers, then you're in the right place. Dream It, Do It is a nationwide program with the Manufacturing Institute that highlights careers in manufacturing across America and truly across the world. Due to an aging workforce population, its estimation can retire in the next 10 years, and that leaves careers in these skilled crafts with a shortage that we would like you to fill. So throughout this presentation, I will speak to you about the most high demand, high wage jobs, but I'll also be showing you a website that has many other careers listed on it, anywhere from a high school diploma to a master's degree. So I hope you find out something interesting uh, that could be valuable to you in your future. The concentrations are going to be in the petrochemical, logistics, transportation, and construction field. I typically speak to audiences along the Houston Ship Channel. The industries from that area have built the website that I'll be showing you about is petrochemworks.com. But these jobs apply for, in, from, for anyone from Corpus Christi to New Orleans and literally many other places across the world. This is a list of the most high demand, high wage jobs. Some of these jobs do require shift work, 12 hour shifts, some days, some nights. There are jobs on here that work four days a week, 10 hours a day. Other jobs may be set to have built in overtime with 50 hour weeks, five days a week. Some would have regular hours, maybe eight to five, five days a week, but almost all of them are going to have some sort of overtime that'll be needed throughout the year, uh, some more than others. Some other things you need to know about these sort of jobs. You'll have be required to pass a drug test, and this drug test is going to test back usually up to a year using a hair follicle test. Many industries will test you randomly throughout your employment. You have to pass a background check. Can't have any felonies on your record. That would keep you from getting these jobs. You might be able to find careers in other places, but not in these industries. You need good communication skills. You be, need to be able to speak with many different kinds of people. You possibly be, could be working in a workforce that has five generations in it, and each of them have some unique qualities about how they communicate, and you're going to have to be able to communicate to all of them, whether it be written or spoken, and be able to listen to their ideas, work as a team. Um, you've got to show up on time every day. They expect you to be at work. You need to be willing to learn because things do change rapidly. Um, and be willing to learn something that's new. Uh, you may be doing the same job for 25 years one way, something new comes up and you're gonna be expected to learn the new thing and be able to apply that uh, as well. There's a huge focus on safety in these industries. They could be dangerous if you don't heed to the safety rules and they are very strict on those. So you need the hard skills to get the job. Those are the skills where you've gone to school and you've learned what it is that you need to do for that job. But if you don't have the essential skills, you could lose those jobs. Essential skills have been called soft skills. Uh, you've got emotional intelligence quotient, people skills, all of those things. Those are half of what you need. The other half is can you do the job? So don't uh, just think because you might be the best at something that you would be the best employee because if you don't have those other essential skills, then you may not be able to keep that job. So I'm going to take you to a website called petrochemworks.com. And on that website, I'm going to show you how to use a match me tool so that you can find something that matches you. So again, the website is petrochemworks.com. I 
Once you get to the website, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see that match me button right here. It's going to take you through three sections. One will ask about your interest. The other one's going to ask about your skills and then your education. The jobs that I showed you on the list require either a certification or a two year associate's college degree. But the education part here will go from high school diploma up through a master's degree. So you can choose whatever it is that would apply to you. So I'm going to go ahead and start looking on the match me button comes up with my skills. As you read through them, be very honest with yourself, trying to pick exactly what it is that fits you so it can help make the best choice of a career path for you. And it's going to give you multiple ones so that you can look through and read about them. And we'll see how that works. Maybe you're really mechanical and you like fixing things. Maybe you have good, precise hand and eye coordination. You're a team player. You have strong communication skills. You like to maintain equipment. Maybe you're the guy that's always working on the lawnmower. Or maybe you're the one in the house that always likes to put things together and fix them. Um, maybe it's important for you to work on the safety um, of your environment as well. Maybe you like to create solutions to complex problems. Okay? That makes you a leader. So there could be some uh, matches with you being a manager or a supervisor. That won't be your first job, but that could certainly be a job that you work up to. Once you say next, it'll bring you to the screen about your interest. And these are set up with the slider set at the middle. If you read on something and it doesn't matter to you one way or the other, just leave it medium. But if you feel strongly about it, you'll move to the right. If you don't like that particular thing, then you'll move it further to the left. So maybe you like having uh, independence a little bit. So maybe that's not just a medium thing. Maybe it's a little more to the right. Uh, maybe really doesn't matter to you whether you're teaching somebody or not. So you just leave that one in the middle. Maybe you really like to learn and grow. You're always wanting to know something new, what's out there. Uh, physical activity is important. You don't want to sit behind a desk. You would like to move around and do some things. You care about your environment. Maybe that's not what you want to study, but you're interested in it. Maybe you're really interested in it. You'd move it all the way to the right. Quiet workplace, maybe that matters to you, maybe not. Avoiding stress, managing people, improving processes. Read through each of these and whatever it works with you, okay, then you could move these one way or the other. If you don't really want to be the manager, you can move it over here a little bit. Maybe right now you're not feeling like that, but maybe you do like to be in charge, so you would move it a little further to the right. Okay? Once we say next, it brings you to the education portion. Again, I told you it would go from high school diploma up to a master's degree. Maybe it's an industry certification. You know, there are some that you can receive while you're in high school. Many high schools across our nation are offering NCCER certifications. It's an industry certification you can get while in high school. Maybe you're in welding and there's welding certifications. Maybe you're in electrical class and there's certifications with that. There's many different ones that you can get. Uh, you could go with that. Or I spoke to you about those that required a two-year associate's college degree. So I'm going to click on that one and say next starts to match me up with some careers. The top four are listed here first. If you see right here, it says see more jobs. There's up to 66 more that it could show you about. We're gonna go ahead and click on one, it's process technician. It's gonna load up and it's gonna tell us some things about that particular career. So once we're on that screen, it's gonna to explain to us what a process technician does. Do you like being part of a team, making daily impact on a company's performance? As a process technician, you'll monitor the refining process of fuels, chemicals, and plastics that make modern society possible. Goes on to explain what that job would do, gives you some estimates on the pay. These are beginning pays. This particular one has a video. Some do, some don't. So you could kind of look to see what, um, what that job looks like. They're estimating the medium income of this job would be $65,000 a year. And again, that would be a beginning pay. Um, scrolling on down, it lists critical skills and key responsibilities. If you're wanting to find this job, you can see some postings of what that job might look like when somebody's posting for a job. Depending on your area, in the Gulf Coast, it would give you some nearby training providers and nearby employers. If you're looking at this from other parts of the country, it may not show you those, but you would definitely want to check with your community colleges to see what is available. 
And at the very bottom of each of the pages, it's going to show you a career map. You start off as a process technician. Where might you move to after that? First line supervisor. Then where could you move to after that? There could be some um, on the job training that's needed for these extra positions, or maybe the company would send you to some other trainings to, to uh, make these jobs available to you. But it shows you where you might could move to over your career path. At any point from any screen on this website, you can scroll to the bottom and there will be a cluster of careers. So if you specifically just wanted to go and see what logistics and supply chain look like, you can go and click on that. So I hope you've learned some things today. Um, there is a website, dreamitdoittx.org. If you would like to look at some more things, there are some videos on there, maybe a little bit more information. And I hope you found something that was good for you. Just go out there and be awesome. Thank you.